the the reason the medical community became so much more aggressive in our use of these medications is that in, in many ways we were responding to a brilliant marketing campaign. Beginning in 96, a campaign was launched that misinformed the medical community about the risks of opioids, especially the risk of addiction. Doctors begin hearing that the risk of addiction in legitimate pain patients is very low. The statistic that's used is that much less than 1% of patients will ever get addicted to opioids. Doctors start hearing not just directly from the drug company. If we had been hearing it directly from drug companies, we would have been less gullible. We were hearing from pain specialists eminent in the field of pain medicine. We were hearing from our professional societies, from our hospitals, from our state medical boards, from every direction, we were hearing that patients are suffering needlessly because of an overblown fear of addiction. We're, we start hearing that opioids are a gift from Mother Nature and we can be much more compassionate in our treatment of pain if we prescribe opioids more often, that these are really the best medicines. We even start hearing that over-the-counter pain medicines like Advil and Tylenol are more dangerous than opioids. And so from every direction, we begin to hear that if you're an enlightened doctor in the know, you'll be different from those stingy puritanical doctors of the past that were letting people suffer. You'll understand that opioids should be used much more for just about any complaint of pain. And as we responded to this campaign and the prescribing went up, it led to an epidemic of addiction. One of the bigger problems I think that's been fueling our epidemic aren't the, the pill mill drug dealing doctors, it's the well-meaning doctors and dentists who are creating customers for the drug dealing doctors by prescribing too aggressively. The dentist who gives a teenager 40 pills when wisdom teeth come out uh, a teenager who may have only needed one or two pills or might not have even needed any opioids, the primary care docs that are prescribing too aggressively, the well-meaning, poorly informed prescribers who are getting patients hooked or are indirectly causing addiction by prescribing too much and you're putting opioids in people's medicine chest. In terms of the sharp increase in addiction that we've experienced over the past 20 years, it's those well-meaning prescribers that are a bigger problem.